Okay, happy Memorial Day weekend. It is Monday, it is Memorial Day. And it's not about picnics. Yep, you can see here, I've got cauliflower, I've got broccoli, and you're like, oh my God, I'm not having that today. I've got onion, I've got celery, I've got some carrots. <laughs> um, no, I cook for the week. Memorial Day, remember what it's about, please. It is not about picnics. It is not about, you know, running down to the shore, the beach, whatever you call it. I'm from Pennsylvania, you know, close to Philly, we say the shore. <laughs> um, that's just anywhere in New Jersey <laughs> or, or other, other beaches, other beaches as well, but that's the shore. Um, no, Memorial Day, this is for all of our wonderful veterans who we have lost in battle and um, we thank them all and fly your flags high, please, because, you know, without them, without our current veterans, and our, our military, uh, everything you do, you would not have the ability to do without them. That's what makes America what it is. And um, without them protecting us decade after decade after decade, um, we would not have what we have. So salute to every military um, person out there, men, women, um, and all of those who have um, died, all of our fallen, we salute you, and happy Memorial Day to each and every one of you. Um, please enjoy it. Uh, it's not just a day off for you guys, Amer you Americans, just remember that. So, I cook every weekend. I usually do it Sunday, and I meant to put a cauliflower rice video out, which I did not get a chance to do. Uh, we went away and um, came home, and it was a little chaotic. So, I'm going to make my basic cauliflower rice recipe um, and this is this, this the great part to cauliflower rice you have to uh, you have to learn to get your mindset the right food is to live okay remember that food is to live yes you can have your cake and eat it too in a blue moon it is not a weekly or monthly thing but food is to live and rice is so cauliflower is a very versatile food and you can flavor this to work with beef to work with chicken to work, make your own Chinese food. You can definitely make this into Chinese rice. You can make it into Mexi rice because definitely on low carb and keto, you can have uh, your homemade Mexi rice by a little red, little red and green peppers and uh, some maybe taco seasoning. We mix in with it. You can definitely do a lot with, with when it comes to making rice. For me, I have a basic cauliflower rice recipe, and what I'm going to do. Is in a nutshell, I'm going to show you. I've got celery, I've got carrots, I've got onion, some fresh parsley, I've got some garlic. Now, I usually use cloves, but I'm gonna be honest, this is getting easier to use more and more of the minced. Then, I always use olive oil. Everybody has a preference, as long as it's not vegetable oil. Um, because I'm going to be my week for my week. I'm going to have roasted chicken. I'm going to be steaming up some lovely broccoli, and I'm also going to have on the side some garlic butter made with a little bit of garlic powder, but but also some garlic itself, and that will go over top of the broccoli. So I'm going to have some roasted chicken, broccoli with a little bit of a a lighter butter. Uh, garlic butter on top of it and my rice so also in my rice again will be olive oil I'll put some chicken bouillon in there a little pepper no salt is needed and there's a reason for that a little basil a little bit of onion powder even though I put a ton of onion in uh, a little bit of vegetable seasoning and now for us, because I do have arthritis, and um, turmeric has a lot of other benefits, but turmeric, which will actually turn the rice yellow. It'll go from the white look <laughs> to a little bit of a yellow tinge. Uh, if you try, if never tried it before, please go slow. Turmeric has its own uh, distinct taste to it, um, but the benefits of turmeric are very high. Um, and it does help with arthritis problems. So that's what I will be adding to my basic recipe. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all my veggies cut down. My celery, my onion, my parsley, my carrots, and with my cauliflower, I will be using my handy dandy ninja. It's a food processor and it mixes doughs, but I just seen one that I want to get. It's a big food processor because I cook so much and I bake so much during the holiday season. But I just want to just pre-warn you, ninjas work great to rice. My rice is always between a cross between couscous and rice, so it's a smaller little piece. But these blades keep away from children and yourself because one of you almost took my finger off one time. And lesson learned. So even when you're cleaning it, keep it inside <laughs> and put the put water in it or into your dish if you put it in your dishwasher, put it down and put this over top because it will cut your finger off. Uh, true story. Uh, I went to the hospital with that one. <laughs> so that's how I when I I will cut these down into little mini florets and I'll put them in here and I'll pulsate them. When everything's cut and pulsated down, I put it into one big baggie, I shake it up, and I put it into my wok. All right, on to the next step is getting everything cut down and ready to go. So let's do it. Okay. I got my first thing. Okay, I got my first thing of my cauliflower rice down and put into my big baggie here. Gonna do this one, add it in there, and then gonna do all my veggies, which also will go into the bag as well. All of my spices and a little bit of olive oil. I will put more of that into my wok. All right, let's get this pulsated down and into the baggie along with chopped up onion, carrot, onion, carrot, celery, parsley, garlic, and then over here is all the spices. So let's do it. Let's get the rest of this done. All right, all my rice has been pulsated. And basically with me, I get probably somewhere between a mix of couscous and rice. Okay, that's my texture of mine. All right, boom. Next, cut those down and into the bag. Okay, I got my carrots, my celery, my parsley, my onion cut down, going into the bag. All right, on to the spices. Okay, they're in there with the cauliflower rice. I have not added the spices yet. Now you might, some people are might probably wondering, why did you put carrot in there? I'm gonna tell you why. A, I'm not eating a whole big bowl of carrots because carrots do, they hey, I My philosophy is if it grows, it's healthy. In moderation. Since I shaved that down myself with my mandolin, um, there you go, you can see it. Remember, it's gonna add some flavor, color, and there's nutrients in carrots. And remember, this is a big bag of cauliflower rice, so I'm not eating a big thing of carrots. So as far as carb factor, yes, if I eat a big thing of carrots, yeah, we're looking at some carbs. But because this is very minimal, and then the celery. What's the celery for? That's for digestive reasons, celery flavoring. I use celery in everything. That's just me. Again, this is my basic recipe for cauliflower rice. And onion, why so much onion? Onion is good for you. It's good for lung inflammation. It's good for your blood. And it goes translucent and you don't see it if you chop it small enough. So get it in there. And the parsley obviously is just one of my favorite things to use along with things like basil. And parsley is almost in everything I make. So just a little heads up on why there's carrot in there. Don't freak out. Yes, it's still a low carb rice. All right, on to the seasonings and getting it sh this bag shook up with a little olive oil into the wok. Okay, I have everything in the bag and it's ready to go. And you may wonder about the carrot. Remember, it's only a little bit of carrot. Yes, carrots do have some carbs in them, but it is something that grows naturally. So again, the carrot will actually add more as some coloring, some flavor, uh, and there's nutrients in carrots. The celery is great for flavoring as well. You can see it right there. But it's also good for your digestive system, the parsley for flavoring. And I do add lots of onion. And the reason onion is wonderful for you, it's good for your bloodstream, it's good for lung inflammation, and as well, flavoring up your rice. 
everything is in this bag now. I have all my veggies. I had my rice cut down. I've got some garlic in there. I've got all my seasonings. And the reason I don't use salt is because a lot of these seasonings have salt in them. So you wanna avoid as much salt as you can, right? So the veggie season, the onion powder, the basil, uh, they could have some salt in them. And as far as if you do choose to use a bouillon, this is supposed to be like a no sodium, but you never know. So <laughs> salt to taste maybe at the end and go light on your spices as well, especially if you're gonna try turmeric um, because it's a unique taste. <laughs> Too much of it, you're gonna really, it's gonna hit you. Um, you can add it at the end. Okay, remember any of these can be added at the end if you wanna add more. I just, this is just my basic recipe. This is for like everyday like dinners, you know, I can put it on the side of anything. All right, let's shake this bag up. And then we're gonna put it into the wok. I'm sorry, my little iRobot vacuum is making a heck of a lot of noise in the background. I use that in between vacuuming and it does help, but he's been kind of in the kitchen and in my way over here. One of our fur kitties is chasing it. All right, let's get this shook up. I've added a little olive oil in here. Um, you can kind of see it here and I'm gonna shake it up and it's gonna go into the wok. I can add a little more oil at that time. All also, right. I've got my florets cut up in my steamer basket. I've got my, here's my, my water, it'll go on the stove and I'll put the steamer basket in there. My chicken is in the oven. It's gonna be done pretty soon, but I rest my, all my meats. I, I'll rest it for a good 45, 50 minutes before I cut it down. And this is a garlic butter basically. And I use regular garlic. And I also use a little garlic powder. Um, I have to get my hubby to eat. <laughs> That would be the eye robot emptying itself. Um, I, I drizzle this over the broccoli or if I'm doing green beans, asparagus, uh, it's a nice way to, to flavor up your, um, your green veggies when you're trying to get someone to enjoy it. You know, uh, you could use cheese, but right now he's, I've got him on the garlic butter thing. So, and it's a, this is an olive oil type butter. So yeah. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, let's get this bag shook up. All right, it is all shook up in the bag and it's time for the walk. Okay, I have my rice in my bag. My walk is ready. I'm back here, I've got my cauliflower going. Or my cauliflower. I'm sorry, I have a lot of interruption today. It's actually broccoli in the steamer basket. <laughs> <laughs> back there and this right here would be the garlic butter it's on my warmer burner so it just it keeps it nice and warm and my chicken is actually in my oven and I think it's done but that'll rest for a while right now let's get this into the wok and it really won't take too long I'm gonna just give it like 20 minutes till it gets to the texture and the, the, the consistency that we like um, remember this is gonna last us this is not one meal this is several Oops, and my Kimball just decided to wonk on me. Um, but basically, this is ready to go. My wok is ready. I have my water there with my broccoli in there in the steamer basket. The little pot is the garlic butter that will go over top of the broccoli. And my chicken is done. So basically right now, I'm gonna take that out probably too and let it rest for a while because I will actually cut the breast meat off. We don't eat too much of the dark meat. It's just us. The dark meat though flavors the chicken though, doesn't it? All right, let's get this into the wok. And I think I have to charge my gimbal. It's starting to wonk out on me. All right, we are cooking away. And I think it's almost done. Remember, you want your onions and your celery to be translucent and you want your cauliflower obviously to be nice and tender. And you just wanna keep stirring it using maybe two spoons. Oops, a little steam going on there. And you can really smell it and it smells really, really good. Yeah, my onions are getting translucent, but they're not quite, quite there. Um, they're getting there though. But um, I did try to taste it a little bit off camera and it tasted very good. And remember, this is my personal basic rice. I've tried many different ones uh, through my time of being on low carb. 
or I should say us being on low carb. And this is just the basic one I'll use. I can use this for beef. I can use it for any type of poultry. You could use it for fish if you like fish. It's great for stuffing to replace rice, to stuff cabbage, to stuff peppers. Um, uh, I've also used this um, in place when we have like a Mexican night. What I will do is I will make a Mexi rice out of this using chop, like a little taco seasoning, maybe a little salsa, a little chopped red and green peppers, really tiny in there. And I will use it to make my taco bowl. Instead of using a taco shell, I start with my taco meat, which is usually ground turkey. And I have the, this rice on the bottom, taco meat. I have shredded lettuce. I make my own pico. Add some sour cream, which you can have, and it's very good. I mean, you can just get really creative. There's a lot of wonderful things, but this will work for us for all week. Tonight is gonna be roasted chicken with, uh, make sure my gimbal doesn't go wonky again. My, whoo, hey, 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 that's really hot. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was a blooper. Let's see if I can get in here on my, yep, steaming up nicely. And garlic butter. Yep, yeah, I can turn that down. So my chicken is done. My rice is almost done. And same with my, what am I eating? Broccoli. I'm so tired. I need a break or more coffee. I'm not sure. One or the other. So everything is ready. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you might try it or something similar. I'd love to see how you make your cauliflower rice. This, again, is just something that we like. There's a lot of different flavors in here. So they mesh well with a lot of things. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and share me out. I would really, 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 really appreciate you sharing me out and subscribing. All right. Have a great Memorial Day and enjoy yourself. If you're having a picnic, just remember what today's about and thank those who have graciously served our country and um, salute those who have fallen. But enjoy your picnics. The weather is beautiful today, finally, in Pennsylvania. It's been very bipolar. Uh, it's been the 90s, out of the 50s, monsoon rain. Today, we have sunshine. <laughs> and it's about 68 degrees. So, it's been crazy. Enjoy your picnics, everyone. Happy Memorial Day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please subscribe, give a thumbs, thumbs up, and share me out. I'm a small channel just starting out, and I really, really and greatly would appreciate it. Take care. Have a great holiday.